Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Are you looking to land a tablet developer job in 2025? Whether you are a new beginner or someone who is already experienced, this video will give you a detailed step-by-step -step guide and a roadmap on how to you know, get a job as Tableau developer. Now let us get started without wasting much time. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So first thing first, now let us first understand you know, what does a Tableau developer do, right? So that is the first thing that we need to know. What, what does a Tableau developer do? So Tableau developer is responsible for creating dashboards. This we all know. Apart from that, he is also responsible for, you know, data connections or, you know, your data preparation. This is a very important step in creating your dashboards. First, we need our data to be ready. So for that, we need to understand our data. So once we are aware how our data is, then only we will be able to proceed with creating our dashboard. So, so this is something that you need to, you know, uh, spend some time on. Apart from that, you know, a Tableau developer is also responsible for optimizing the performance of your dashboards. It is not that, you know, always you will be creating dashboards. Sometimes client might request you to increase the performance of your existing dashboards. So you might have, uh, you might also need to look into that angle. Apart from that, you know, a Tableau developer is also responsible for collaborating with multiple teams to get our the work done. Like, you know, we need to talk with business teams. We need to talk with the database team. We need to talk with the stakeholders uh, to give updates. So this is something a Tableau developer does day in and day out. And you need to know what it is. Now let us understand what are the skills we need as a Tableau developer in 2025. So I'm writing it as skills we need as a Tableau developer. Okay, so the first and the most thing, okay, Tableau concepts we need, right? So this is a Tableau basic concepts you will definitely need to master. Apart from that, some advanced concepts advanced concepts like LODs, actions in Tableau, you know, uh, relationships, joins, you know, and uh, these are some concepts that you need to be pretty clear with. When I say basic, you need to be clear about filters, mark shelf, dimensions and measures pretty basic concepts you, this you need to be know i mean this you need to know definitely okay so identify your data understand how your data is and then on top of that data try to master that next is sql knowledge okay so this is a definite thing that you need to add to your skill set because we need a SQL to extract our data, query our database. Okay, so all of that we need here. Okay, so here I am also writing as parameters as one topic that we need. Now, after SQL knowledge, you know, they are also asking ETL concepts because this is also required for data preparation. So you might you know plan or think about you know which uh, ETL tool you want to add in your resume. Basing on your work exposure, you can do that. Now these days, Python also they are asking, okay? basic python is enough it is not mandatory but optional but useful tool that you can always add in your resume so that you can res your resume can 
stand out compared to any other one in the market then again one optional tool that you can add is cloud based knowledge because if you observe the market trend you know everyone is trying to move towards cloud and in your project there are chances that they might use one or the other tool related to cloud so it is very important like say your aws your snowflake or you know like this you can add okay next is so these are the skills that are expected from you or that will be expected from you in the uh, 2025 now let us talk about certifications that are important and that can help you so if you are a beginner maybe you know data analyst or sorry desktop specialist would would definitely work for you but if you are someone who has some years of experience then uh, like say i'm writing mid level then you can think about a tableau data analyst this is one certification that is widely recognized okay so this data desktop specialist would be great for beginners or you know who is new into tableau and they want to get into it it might definitely add value to your resume but if you are someone who already has some experience then you can think of you know acquiring tableau data analyst okay so you can also apart from this tableau certifications you can try to think about some aws certifications uh, certified data analyst this is one thing that you can think and microsoft also you can plan so i'm just writing it out what we think is important so up uh, after this now we know what we need in tableau to prepare what are the skills that are expected and what are the certifications we need now let us try to understand how we can build a strong portfolio so that we can show whenever the time comes okay so i'm writing it as how to build a strong portfolio because as a tableau developer or as a data visualization expert sometimes during your interview process hr or the recruiting manager might ask you to share your public link so in that situations it becomes mandatory for our profile to be showcased so at least create a 3 to 5 you know create 3 to 5 uh, tableau dashboards okay it can be on common data sets like say sales performance you can create okay you can create one dashboard related to hr analytics okay this common things you can find it on on a tableau public or you can create a dashboard related to financial uh, analysis or you can create it on customer uh, segment analysis or you can also create on healthcare so these are the five different domains i have taken okay you can create dashboards on this if you need specific kpis for these dashboards you can definitely you know ping me or email me or you know comment in the comment section so that i can you know give you the info related to that so this is something that will help you stand out compared to others who are also attending a similar interview okay so this is how you can build so just try to create these dashboards and publish it in your tableau public profile so that you know whenever the right time comes you can showcase them next is where to apply now you have almost you know prepared everything that you need now we need to know where to apply for tableau developer jobs first and the most common thing uh, or the common uh, place where people apply is naukri so i'm just writing that but that is not the only site where you can you know look for opportunities or you know apply for opportunities we have linkedin you can reach out to people you know create your network you know see people with common interest and reach out to the recruiters or you know companies and then try to apply you also have indeed where you can look for jobs there are tons of jobs there you can always watch out for this glassdoor site where you can always review 
how the company is what is the feedback of that what is the pros and cons of that and then you can also apply from company websites this is also one a good method of reaching out to company directly and doing it okay you can also try to upload your profile on freelancing platforms like you know upwork is there one freelancing website where you can try to upload we have fever we have top tell you can try to publish your profile here and see if any you know uh, profile matches your skill set and try to reach out to them so this is one thing that you can do okay so now after this once your resume is ready once you are ready for everything you need to start preparing for your interview so for this our channel is the most recommended channel from anyone you take because the questions that you see are the questions that are given by the subscribers it is not something that i have researched in google or i have taken it from chat gpt or something no it, they are the direct questions you can try to complete tableau interview questions playlist and if you want to become expert you can try to complete tableau interview scenario playlist these two questions are enough for you to crack a job you know uh, yeah i think this is what we need so yeah that's it from my side in this video i hope this video has given you some gist on how to get started in 2025 if you need any other information do comment in the comment section see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day